Hey everyone, it's Julie the Paper Bag Lady again, and as promised, I am back to show you the different doilies that I have going up on my exhibit. And I think I have 12 different doilies. Um, some of them are brand new, some of them we have seen before in maybe a different shade or a different size. But anyway, so here we go, let's get started. So the first thing we have is this little six pointed star shaped doily. Now I had this before in a much smaller and a little bit darker color. Um, but we have them now in kind of like this off-white creamy color and you will get 24 in a set and I think these are from point to point somewhere around three inches. Some are smaller, some are bigger because they stretch or they're you know on the edges but whatever. So you get 24 in a set of those. Then we have this and I've had similar ones to this before but I believe they've always been smaller. So this one, oops, I don't know why I seal these when I know I'm just going to open them up again to show you. So silly. This you will get 12 in a set, and this is like a creamy color. Doily, it's a little bit heavier. I think the ones that I had before, they weren't quite as heavy, and they were also, like I said, smaller. Um, that would look really pretty layered with some metal pieces and other doilies. You get 12 in a set of those. Next we have, let me find it, ah, here we go. If you remember that doily I had that was, um, that I called my wagon wheel doily, it was kind of a tan color. This reminds me a lot of that. This center part pretty much looks a lot like that wagon wheel doily before, but this has an outer part. Um, so I'm calling this the fancy wagon wheel doily. <laughs> um, and there are 12 in a set of this, and I really like these a lot. Again, these would be pretty layered with metal, or other doilies or other flowers, homemade flowers. They're great peeking out of the sides from underneath papers and things. And then also from the same tablecloth, we have the smaller piece, which is just like the middle. That looks like the wagon wheel. So that's the, the small wagon wheel or the mini, I think I called it the small wagon wheel doily. And there are 15 in a set of those. We have both of those. This you have seen before. This is, I call it, it's a tan flower doily. We've seen this before. You can leave it as is, or you can cut all these off the edge and have the petals showing. Um, I've had this in a lighter color. I've had this in several larger sizes. But now we have this tan color, so you get 24 of those. And also from the same tablecloth, which again, I had these before as well, are these little tiny ones. That's also in the tan, and again, you get 24 of those in a set. So let's, let me see, six down, what do we have? Six to go, maybe more, I think it's six. All right, now we have this one, which I don't think I'm gonna take out because I think you can see this. This is um, a, what I'm calling a 12 point, or a 12 petal flower doily, and this is a pretty nice size doily. Um, they do vary, I think they're somewhere around, wait, let me get my ruler. I have like 18 rulers here. They are somewhere around five inches, but I think they could be anywhere from four and a quarter inches to a little over five, depending on how they've stretched. Um, I happen to know that this tablecloth was on a table for a long time, so I'm sure that it was it pooled at, at places, and so the doilies are larger. So you get 12 of those in a set. And then, from the same tablecloth, you get these little doodads, which I just think are really pretty. They're like this little square, but a little off-centered, so it's more like a diamond, kind of. And you could leave it as is, or you could cut the outside off and just be left with that round flower center. So those are very pretty also, and the, these are kind of like an off-white to cream color. And you get 12 of these little square slash diamond shaped doilies. Here we have a tan doily. And that I've had, I think I had one like that before. Actually, you know, I know I did, and it was at the really large, kind of the really heavy cream one. And I think six came in a set of that, but this is a very similar, if not the same style to that. So those are very pretty, and those are also 12 in a set, I think. Yes, it is 12. I don't know why I did not write them on the baggies this time. Hmm. I must have been in a rush. <laughs> um, 
Okay, next we have these. These are little different things. I wasn't sure how these would go over. These are what I'm calling an eight point, eight pointed square because it is clearly a square, but it does have eight distinct points. And um, I had thought this when I first saw them and then actually my friend Stephanie, I sent her some and she commented the same thing that if you cut out some of these parts, it could almost look like a butterfly. So I have done one to show you. Now, I am not the best of butterfly makers, I will tell you that now. But anyway, so if you cut the edges off that here, and then I put some pearls in the center, and you can see the little stamens there. So you get a little butterfly. Now, I kind of had a little accident with my scissors and chopped this edge part off a little too far. But anyway, um, so that's an idea of things you could do with those. You could probably spray them because it's really cottony. You could spray them or dye them as well. But anyway, so there's a suggestion for those. Then we have, these I think are about the cutest little thing. Now, when I bought this, the seller that I bought it from said it was a machine crochet, which is definitely done on a machine, but it honestly looks more like an applique to me um, than a crochet. So I'm not sure what you wanna call it, but I just think these little flowers are so sweet. Um, you could very easily cut that center flower out and have it separately and then just use the outside and maybe put a smaller flower layer. It would be great with, um, say, if you cut that center out, you could layer like that and maybe put the center back on top of that. This is a Butterbee Scraps Daisy or any other type of flower or metal piece. But that, I just love these little guys. And they come 24 to a pack. And I just think they are sweet. Plus, they're also less dimensional than, you, than your average doily because they are machine made. Also from that same one, I just love these little guys. These are about an inch wide and they, they look like little tiny spider webs to me. So of course they're perfect for Halloween, but I don't think you need to use them just for Halloween. You could easily trim off the edges if you wanted, um, but they're great little flower centers. And I want to show you, I used this on an album, which I think I showed a video on a video but I again took this little daisy which is one of my favorite things from Butterbee scraps um, and just put that little guy in the middle and I just think that's so sweet I I kept a lot of these for myself because I plan on doing that you could put a little pearl or a bling or something in the center if you wanted to as well but anyway so there's a suggestion for those as well and then finally in the doily department I brought back the mixed set of um, what I call connectors. These are the things that hold the doilies together. Sometimes the connectors are actually other little doilies like this. Sometimes they're um, not quite as fancy, but they're still great to layer, um, to tuck behind things. So I have a mixed bag of 90 different connectors and they range anywhere from, I think, maybe a half an inch to this one here is almost two and a half inches and it's a variety um they're not all exactly the same but there are 90 of them in there so those are the new doilies that i have going up on my zibit and then finally i will show you one more thing because i kept it for this video because it's in the crochet family a lot of these tablecloths when i get them and cut them they just are what they are but some of them have edges that aren't doilies per se. So you can't really um, cut them apart. So I'm not sure how well you can see in this, but this is like a tan edging. And this was from, I believe an oval tablecloth. So it's kind of curved. This is just under two and a half yards in the tan color. Um, I have two of those. And then I also have this one in white. And if you can see, this one also has some little round doilies that could still be cut out. You could cut it into the individual strips. And there are pictures on the zibit um, of all of these. And I have this in two sizes because it was an oblong, like a rectangular tablecloth. So I have two pieces that are about a, a foot and a half long. And then I have two that are just under, or not foot, yard and a half, a yard and a half, and two that are just under two and a half yards. So if you're looking for something larger, I think these here are about eight inches wide. And I think this one was five, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're looking for something a little bit larger or something to cut up, this would be fun for a cover, um, just all kinds of things. 
I always intended to keep them and use them and then it occurred to me that I will just never use everything and I certainly wasn't getting around to using those anytime soon so I thought somewhere I am sure somebody um, will use them. So anyway, so those are the new doilies that are listed on the Zibit. So I am going to go and activate all of those now and upload these videos. So be sure to check it out. It is the paper bag lady on Zibit. YouTube here, I'm the paper bag lady one because somebody already had the paper bag lady, I guess. But on Zibit, it is the paper bag lady. Um, so if you have any questions about any of it, feel free to let me know. Um, the metal that I showed you and suggested with the doilies comes of course from Butterbee Scraps, which is also on Zibit, so you can check her out as well. So thank you everyone for watching and for all your support, and I hope you all have a great evening. Bye.